Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you, sir. How may I help you? I believe I have a message from someone from 227. 227. Oh, yes. She checked in as Mrs. Peters. And she said that you're Mr. Peters and comments to be proud. Are you Mr. Peters? Well, I guess I am. I will spend the rest of the weekend together. Come on, baby. You know that's a crazy idea. This is your husband's hotel, and anything can happen at any time. Okay? Besides, I want to spend the weekend with my mom because it's my birthday. It's okay. As long as it's your mother and not some other woman. Don't get jealous on me, Lollipop. Come on. I'm a free spirit, you know. Don't blame a woman for trying. You know, baby, I wish you can just give in to my proposal. You know, we are good together. Let me take care of you. Baby, I don't like being home. Anyway, I'm not going to stop, you know. I'll keep trying until I get to you, know, because you are the millennium creation. Here, this is for you, for your birthday. Whoa! 300 grand for me? Baby, you're, you're very generous. You know, you know, this is nothing compared to what I can do. Just give it to me, because Think about it, baby. Hmm? Alright, I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah, I am. Come here. Alright, gotta go. Okay. Um, awesome. Appointment, my food. No, 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 an assassination you meant to say, didn't you? Yeah, you can call him whatever you like. You know, that's my job. That's what I do. So tell me, um, who is she this time? The local government chairman's wife. The European Brady or some um, suspecting poor little girl. Oh, come on, you know me. I don't do little girls. Come on. What's, what's the problem? Listen. Rich or poor, I don't do little girls. What I do is the big girls, you know what I'm saying? The big girls. Who know what they're getting in The ones who know it's bucks for uh, fun. The kind of people who pay, you know, to get my services. You know what I'm saying? Alright, uh -huh. alright. So tell me, is she Samba Dragon? Yeah, you were kind of right the first time. It was one chairman's wife like that, I'm telling you. And you know the funny thing? This woman is reckless. I mean, she took us to our husband's hotel. I'm telling you, she booked us under a funny name, a fake name. And I was, I was there with her in her husband's hotel, bro. <laughs> it was kind of fun anyway. That's reckless. I mean, madness. Mm -hmm. well, what game does she think she was playing? Ken, what if you were found out? Ken, were you thinking at all? Of course I wasn't thinking. Thinking about what? Let me tell you this. The 
danger adds to the fun. And it makes the whole thing more erotic. You know what I'm saying? Is that what you say? Yeah. I think you really, really need to be happy here and fast. Have you ever stood in the face of an angry, jealous husband? Bro, come on. Let him get back. Come on. This woman will get services. And I provide my services. You know what I'm saying? And no, no, hey, come, come, come on, bro, take a look at this, take a look at this. Before you start doing all that, you know, that your shit. 300,000. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you mean this woman give you 300,000 uh, just for servicing her? Uh, Wait, 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 no, 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 come on, Ken, listen. Mm. You see, I, I, I think I get up here. Yeah, you should. Because these women are worse than you are. <laughs> they do <laughs> nothing than with your vanity. Yeah, whatever. And, and you enjoy everything. Of course, what are you talking about? Listen, bro, I was born for you. I was created. I was brought up to enjoy. That's what I was made for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just putting what I have, which in this case is a natural endowment, into good use to get what I You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get out of there, Ken. You, you know what? You won't encourage me, son of a bitch. No, 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 no.
That's good to know. Anyway. Well, I guess you never lied about the love you with your daughter. <laughs> the only thing is that I hope both of you will let me share a bit of it. How oh, are you, Ethan? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Manas, my dear. Manas. Now, Sudan. Yeah. Meet my daughter, Pandora. And Pandora, yes, here is Lawrence, my new wife. Nah. Uh-uh, no, daddy, no, nah, no, nah. come on, you're joking. Oh, come on, sweetie. 
Just have manners and say hello to your stepmom. She's not my stepmom, will never be my stepmom. Jeez, daddy. What were you thinking getting married? You're too old. She's only going to eat your money. That's not going to regret it. Oh, is, this, is this something I did? No, 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 sweetheart. Let's just say you are a very big surprise. Oh, I understand. She will come around. She will come around. She will get used to it. She will come around. remember inviting you to my room. What are you doing here, Dad? What are you doing here? Your wife needs you more. Go! Don't talk like that. Huh? I mean, listen, I know that... Listen, I know that I shouldn't have strung Florence on you like that without her own money. But, you see, it's just become necessary that I, that I marry her. Just go away. Go away. I didn't want to see you again. Go. Go and get married to whoever you want to get married to. You promised me that heaven and the head. You asked me to say nobody was ever going to come into the love you had for me and the love you had for my mother. And now you've gone to do the same thing. You have just failed all of us. Don't, don't, just don't, don't go here. Okay. See, Florence is not here to replace you or your mom. No, 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 no. Far, far from it. See, no one can ever replace you or your mom in my life. Okay. But see, my political career has made it necessary for me to have a, a partner, a wife, quote unquote. I understand. You need to go, wife, quote unquote. Okay, are you telling me that your marriage to that woman is out of confidence? No, that you look me straight into my eyes and tell me that you've gotten married to that bitch because of confidence. No better than to ask you to trust you. No, I, I just know better than to trust you. I love you, Daddy. I hate you. Come here, Father. Get out! Where are you going? Come here. I love you, child. I love you. Please wipe your tears. Come on. Why don't you get hold of yourself and tell me what the problem is? Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. It's not just bad. It is worse. It is so worse. Really? And what is the matter? It's daddy. It's daddy. Daddy came back on this trip and he brought some woman back with him. And he says that it's his new wife. I mean, I'm just supposed to jump up and accept it. Just... <laughs> just married. You mean your dad got married? Wow. Well, yes. But it's a good thing, isn't it? No, no, this is not a good thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, no. No, it cannot be a good thing. I just expect him to respect his promise that he made to me. And then he just, he just fucked it up. And your dad is still a healthy male. You don't expect him to be a widower until death. Yes, but I expect him to keep his promises. That's what I expect him to do. Don't go breaking it. What promise are you talking about? Papa promised me that no other woman was going to come between us. Now he's gone and done his little same thing. He's just put this bitch into the house. Here I am with you. You don't have made such promise to you. But that doesn't mean you ruled out the idea of getting married entirely. Okay? Just calm down. Wait, wait, Erica. Are you my friend or my dad's friend? Oh. Did my dad come and beg you to solicit for him? Of course not, Pat. So what are you talking about? Come on, Pat. Just take it easy, okay? Okay? 
You won't allow the woman to come within both of you. You don't he understand. You. you don't understand one bit. I mean, how do I even expect you to understand? How? Daddy didn't have any reason to get married. He had me. I had him. We had each other. So what is this problem? Okay, darling. I understand that you and your dad are very close. Okay? But, you know, you might even find out that the new bride is a nice person. And it's not gonna change anything. Okay? That's what you think. That's what you Please think. Down. Okay? Just take it easy, okay? Okay? Or your wife does this. <sighs> Than a problem with my rich man picking any new developer and begin shit. Don't just have any bad boys. Papa. <laughs> 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 Don't you touch the light? Oh, Adora, where have you been? I'm very sick about you. Where have you been? I went to Eric's. Oh, thank God. I've been here sitting, worrying sick about you, wondering everything that could have happened to you. I was basically going out of my mind. Does it mean that you really love me, Daddy? You still love me? Oh, sweetie. You still care about me? Oh, of course, of course I love you. And I've always loved you. Did you know that? I never stop loving you. And I will always love you. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. Is this something that I did? Did I do something really wrong that you had to bring into the house? No, no, no. No, you didn't do anything wrong. So Florence is just a, a necessity. So it's you I truly love. I, I never stop loving you. My legs. Why would I do that? Yeah. Well, I uh, tell me you borrowed one of your lover's cars because I know the cars belong to you. Nope. This bitch is mine. It's mine. What? Ken, did you rob a bank or something? Why would I rob a bank? Let me take a look at my face. Do I look like someone who goes to rob a bank? With this face? Come on. Listen. Honey Bunch brought this car for me for my pet. You mean 
Honorable Flora gave you a gift of a car just for servicing her. No, for your birthday. Mm. Oh, come on. Can tell me something? Is there something else you do aside the normal thing you do behind closed doors? Well, like I tell you, like I've always been telling you, I've got the magic touch. Ken? Ken, come on, open. Come on, come on. Come on, open. No, 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 the door is open. Just get into the car. Let's, let's do something. Come on. Tell me that. His son should not be too busy to see his own demand, no matter what. Yes. Yes. Mommy, tell him that. Hey, jump. Mind your own business. <laughs> Don't be like that, Ken. Don't you know Rick is not the truth? Mommy, you know what? He always gets like that whenever you tell him the truth. So, but mommy, don't mind him. Tell me, how are you doing today? I'm okay. Now that I have the both of you around me. Oh, mommy, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ricky, I can see you've gotten a new car. You don't want to tell me. Uh, I wish. I wish he's mine. He is not mine. Did you borrow it? No, mommy. He's not. Naughty boy, cash. Oh, well, no. It's mine. Is it? Did I hear you say it just? Oh my god! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! You see, mom, that's that's why I'm just the house. When I was really very, very angry, I thought I was going to go out and stupid. But this is the reason I left. Mm. When I leave this house, I, I can then. You know, for she thing, I really get to do things. Honestly, you 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 make me proud. I am happy. Alright, So you like it? Of course. Why won't I like it? Huh? I like it. Congratulations, my boy. Congrats. Um, I think I still have that bottle of wine you bought for me last time you came. <laughs> Celebrate! <laughs>
I can see how we used to in the house before. So, as I was saying, I have to know. That's the house. For quite sick, Pa. Don't be disrespectful. I'm sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Erica. Pan is my best friend. I'm Florence. Rosima's wife. And under a slip, mother. I have told you countless times, you are not my mom and you can never be my mom in any way, step or otherwise. You will not get it. There we go. Mama. I hope you're not as rude as your friend. Jesus! Stop! There we go. Sit. Mama, I'm sorry. Give me a good reason to squeeze your little neck there. And I'll flip you over that chair. And what has got on to me for Christ's sake? Your attitude towards your stepmother was very rude. Look, 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 Erica, please. Time, she will not and can never be my mom, okay? Stop it! She's just some fucking goopy my fellow girl back home in the street. Did you just hear yourself now? Your father brought her. And there you have it. Whether you like it or not. That woman is your father's new wife. And she has come to stay. So I think the sooner you start respecting her. The better for you. I hate that woman. I so hate her God. I hate everything about her. You don't get it. I... Mm -hmm. I hate her. And so what? Please, Pan. Don't let this childhood be of your girls real things. And that will make her come between you and your father. You just have to take it easy, okay? That woman can never come between the love my father has for me. Never. Watch this. It's been very difficult. I have never felt so insulted in my entire life. Your daughter had the cheek to insult me in front of our guest this afternoon. Me, Florence. Calm, calm down. Calm down. It can't be that bad. It is that bad, Otomo. It is bad. All I have been doing is trying to see if I can understand her. I've tried to like meet her halfway. To see if we can be friends. But the girl would rather see me leave. Listen, she's just been a kid. Okay. But to her, I have married you and brought you to replace her mother. But sincerely, any kid we act like that towards her stepmom. Mm -hmm. So just, just, just calm down. But Oma, Pandora is no kid. She's a 26 year old girl. Not a woman. Look, I don't know how much of this I can tolerate, okay? I can, no, 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 I can live the rest of my life trying to impress her just because I'm married to the father. Okay, let's just uh, impress her in the most, okay? And where is my daughter? An integral part of this family. Now, for this performance of work, you have to impress her. And you know that everything I'm doing. The river ham is for no one else but, but for Pandora. Are you for real? Are you? And what is that? Oh, Pandora. This is it, baby. What is it, baby? I'm bored. I can't sleep, Daddy. You can't sleep. Hmm? Go ahead, I'm coming to your room. Okay? okay. Come in. Go, go.
Andorra, I heard you've been in Nautica. Is that what she told you? She didn't have to tell me anything, honey. I know quite well that you don't like Florence. But see, Florence is a highly connected person. And I need these connections if I want to win the upcoming uh, governorship elections. But Daddy... Shh. All I'll tell you is respect her. Okay? Is that too much to ask? Unless, of course, if you want me to be very displeased with you. Is that what you want? No. Yeah, I'm sure that's not what you want. You be a good girl, okay? Show that they are much in love. Going to the club tonight. You don't mind coming? Oh, sweetie, I would not mind. I mean, what am I doing in this house, though? Look, if Samuel doesn't mind, I won't tag along. Seriously, at least with her uh, house on this house, would help me. Sincerely. Why not? Trust me, you wouldn't mind. Okay, so uh, I'll see you at 8 p.m. Okay, see you at half seven. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Love you, baby. Bye. Now, what did you do that for? Tell me. Sam. I don't remember asking you to invite Pandora to the club with us. Did I? Sam, listen. Pam is really going through a rough patch now. The her dad brings in a new wife. Please, she really needs this time out. Okay? And what has that got to do with anything? Oh, okay. See, I was thinking we could invite a friend. So we could go out together, they might hook up. We never can tell. Now, what makes you think the high and mighty Pandora would want to date any of my friends? I guess you know the answer to that. Oh, you do. On, come on. Please, I had just have fun with us, okay? Please, you make me. Surprised to see him with a young looking woman today. He usually runs after much older and even richer women. Well, let's just see that. I fancy him. He's cute, handsome, smooth. And I would not mind having him. Hello. Well, well. <laughs> anyway, the uncle's wife has a ready picture to read. Girls, 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 girls. I 
think that's enough, okay? Now, you, Erika, I think you should know better than to tell tales out of school. Oh, please, don't be in small spots. The gist is everywhere. It's not like, what gist? Yes, don't do this. Okay, you know what? Stop. You know what's Okay. That gist happens to be the local government chairman's white lover. Yeah. Wow. Isn't she like very, very old? <laughs> I heard he likes them older, that the older, the sweeter for him. Huh? Okay. I think that's enough for you, right? Okay? Come on. Let's go back. Baby, that could be a I will. 
Excuse me. I'll only just take your man for like a second. Okay? Hello, beautiful. Have we met before? Well, you can say that again. I mean, not really. Yes, we met. Once or twice. Uh, well, you have that advantage over me because I don't remember what you mean. But that was quite a show you put up in there. You really know how to shake your thing. <laughs> well, that is just me being natural. Thank you. Well, seriously, were you actually going to leave the club without even saying goodbye? Yeah, well, seeing as um, your boyfriend left in anger, I didn't want to put you in any more trouble. <laughs> well, it's so glaring, darling. And he is not going to You know? And the bad boy came and was a very, very bad boy. He killed his brother out of jealousy. Who are you? I don't know anything about being jealous, but with the right kind of persuasion, I could be a rogue. <laughs> okay, no problem. You know, I already like you. You that crazy before. Your attitude towards that guy came. was nothing shut up and wanting. <laughs> <laughs> I now believe with Bill that said that that guy has an entire effect on women and why I used to guys my best friend. That, that guy is cute. He's handsome. He's so oh, beautiful. Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, any girl naturally for oh, yeah? I agree with you. But just now, you were so blasted about your interest. We ended up making our generous job generous. Eric, you have been my friend for like ever. My best friend. You know that I go straight up when I want so. John is so no no for me. <laughs> yeah, but you can't blame me for trying to hook you guys together. Yeah, yeah. So talking about the love of boy king. Has it called here? No. Yes. In but I see as it is. <laughs> he hasn't come. And I'm wondering, it's totally straight. He hasn't even called me. Oh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess you have to be patient because we have a lot of people to attend to first. Like you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I'm not you. Look, you do I care? I don't care. Okay? Really? What I need this guy for is fun. I'm fun out here. Really? Okay. I begin to think you and Ken really have a lot in common. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi.
Hey. Oh, well, hello there, Cupcake. Fancy meeting you here. Cupcake. I like it. Well, I hear that you have an endearment for all your women. So I take it that you see me as one of them. Well, that depends. Depends on what game. By the way, why haven't you come? You see, I kind of like, don't like daddy's girls. And um, you're obviously one of them. Well, as true as that may sound, I still want you. And I will have you. I wonder, can you pay the price? What's your exit price? Nah, uh, I don't think so. No, you can't tell me though. You could get burned. It could cost you a lot. <laughs> if that was a trick, I'd like to see you try it. Pandora, welcome. Sit down. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. How's your father and your stepmother? Oh, well. They're fine. Yes, I know, Pandora, you rarely visit me in the office. I hope there's no problem. Well, Uncle, you see. The, yes, there's a problem. I want to talk to you about Auntie. Your Auntie? What about my wife, Pandora? Uncle, what am I about to tell you? It's hurting. And I feel bad about it. I don't need to spoil anything. Uncle, I can't be safe. Uncle, Auntie is having an affair with my boyfriend. Shut up, Pandora! Do you know what you're talking about? Shut up! How can you tell me that my wife is having an affair with your boyfriend? Uncle, I understand what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. I cannot come before you and lie to you about such a thing. She's my auntie too and I love her so much. But I love him too. And I do not want to lose him. Please help me, Uncle. Stop this immorality. How can you look into my eyes and say such hurting lies about my wife? The words that I say. They are hurting. And I know. I feel you. But there are no lies. If you want some sort of proof, I can I can even give it. I can show you. Pandora, tell me how. How can you prove such a thing? Well, Uncle, it's very easy. You see, they don't go too far. They stay right under your nose. In this hotel. They're checking us. The, uh, the name, Mr. Mrs. Peters. Always, they are always here. You can ask your staff, they know. This will know, but they cannot tell you. I'm telling you because it's affected me. It's my man she's sleeping with, Uncle. Please, I have never known that you might be. You mean my wife snatched your boyfriend from you? And all the members of staff of this hotel are aware of this? Then she can believe me. Then there's something that I think she must do. I don't understand this your sudden urge to go to Abuja. But you just came back from last week. My dear, I'm sorry. You know this hotel I'm building at Abuja requires my monitoring and supervision. Unless you want me to leave it in the hands of the people that don't know the job. And you know what that means? It will lead to my spending more. <sighs> okay, based on your explanation, your problem you can go. It is just that I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to shock you, huh? 
I promise to be back before you know it. Promise? Yes, I promise. Okay, darling. Don't do what I want to do. Okay. Okay. Make sure you put it where you want, huh? Okay. The coast is clear. My husband just left for Abuja now. Let's meet at the guest house, okay? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm missing you. Okay, I love you. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> okay, baby. Mwah. Mm-hmm. All right. See you there.
How you doing? Ken? What's the problem? Man, you're not gonna believe this shit. You're not gonna be. And please don't tell me I told you so, okay? I dislocated my shoulder as a result of the jealous I don't understand. Can you tell me what happened to you? Alright. I was with the, this mama in the hotel room. We were having fun. Right? And then the door was open. And the husband walked in with two hefty guys. I mean, he, 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 he saw the look on the, these guys' faces, man. He, he, he just. We're glad that I escaped with just a broken shoulder. I'm telling you. Really? Ah, oh, God. But how can the husband come to find out about you and the wife to the extent of locating where you are? I don't know. Really? I, I don't know. I mean, how, how the hell would I know? I, I, it's, it's kind of puzzling to me because I'm thinking someone said how. You know? And I'm suspecting this, this Pandora chick because. I don't know how she ended up on the scene. I'm, 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 I, it's kind of like a coincidence no, 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 or something. Wait, Kim. Did I hear you say Pandora? Who is Pandora? Ah, uh, just this chick who wants a little bit of Kim to play here, you know? She's the mama's um, husband's niece. Yeah. But I'm still wondering is it a coincidence? What did she do? No, no, Kim. Listen, what I think is that you're too bad and too reckless to see what I'm thinking. You know, you know what I should do? I think I should reserve my comic care. But from a friend to a friend, Ken. Just be careful. I thought you were reserving your comic. Where did that come from?
Yes, guys. You know, when you when you win the uh, no, not when you win. When you become the governor of the state, and moi, the first lady of the state, yes. I have a I have a little thing planned out. I want to organize something for the kids. Something like an NGO. Yeah, like an NGO. How do you think? Daddy. <laughs> ah. And? Daddy. Mm. How? How are you, Daddy? I'm fine, Daddy. Hello. How is the most beautiful daughter in the whole wild world? Well, she's beautiful. Is it good? <laughs> now, um, your uncle told me the important role you're playing in discovering his wife's ability. Tell me all about her. Well, Daddy, it wasn't anything much, really. You know, Uncle is such a good man. He wanted to do something to me. It was just so appalling. I found the truth, and I had to tell him. Oh, my And your uncle told me this boy also happened to be your boyfriend. Oh, did he? <laughs> well, Daddy. Yes. But don't take it the wrong way, okay? Kane is such a wonderful man. He's a beautiful man. So naturally, every woman would jump on him. So I just think I'm pleased to use him with her money, that's all. You know? Oh. The money? She doesn't even know how my brother amass? Yeah, imagine that. Well, it's a good thing to get thrown out of the house. Oh, yes, that is. Otumba! That's going too far. Come on. I mean, you, you, you actually want to advise your brother to throw the wife out. Look, what she did was wrong. We all know. But at least they can work it out. There is no to work out that for us. Such behaviors cannot be tolerated. Such person cannot be a member of this family. At all. At all. I think you deserve what I'm doing. Yes. You deserve that. Anyway, Daddy, you say, um, I promised King that I was going to see him today. So I need to go and change up. I need to do the makeup. Between first name, you know what it is. <laughs> so, Daddy, I want to break everybody's cane for. I still have my reservation. Okay. Oh, and I love you, Daddy. You be a good girl now. I would. Alright, you be good too. You be good. Alright, Daddy. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye. Otumba. Yes. Did I just watch you give your daughter approval to go date a guy whose who's appetite for all the women is so huge? And in all ramification of life, he's so irresponsible. So what does it matter? She's closer to her in age, and she might wind up being to teach her how to be responsible. that be nice? Otumba, the more I watch you with that daughter of yours, the more I realize that you are spoiling her rotten, and you encourage her arrogance. So, and how do you come about this conclusion? Otumba, she managed by her own little self to destroy a marriage of how many years? And all you could do is give her a handshake or a job well done. I don't think you know the real part of this matter. The fact of the matter is, Clara is her daughter. And Pandora has helped my brother to discover the wife's infidelity. So, now that she sent parking, who has to talk about her She does not deserve to carry the family's name. Okay. And Pandora deserves one I just can't shake, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And who discovered it? None other than your most brilliant, wonderful daughter. That can never do wrong in your eyes. Otumba, the more I live in this house, the more I realize that you are the cause of Pandora's attitude towards you. Otumba, this marriage is good as nothing. Honestly. You knock up your daughter 
from my exorcist? This marriage. Don't you ever walk in the Do you understand that? 
now. Look at me have all the connections. You get me where I want to be. And make me come out of this state. But you know what? That connection will not be enough to bring you out from where I'm going to bury you so deep down. So the best thing you have to do now is listen to me and play the game. Understand that? And if you think that I'm going to sit down here and watch you for the mice, your daughter, then you have another thing coming to me. Ah, 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 really? Yes, really. Let's understand it. Very, very wrong because you got only one choice and one choice only. The choice is to sit your ass down in my house here and be pretty new and be the wife of this next governor of the state. Now, get me out! Get me out of the I hate you! Oh my god! Oh, you don't need to uh, uh, thank me, Sotumba Davis. See, all I need you to do for me is to take care of yourself. Okay? okay. Remember lots of rest. No more shouting. And please, please, I repeat, this is from doing whatever that has caused this accident. Okay? Okay. Please. You're so kind, Doctor. Thank you very much. All right. I leave Mrs. Sotumba Davis. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Doctor. You evil child. You think that you have the balls to show your face this afternoon? And why would I want to hide my pretty face? You are the cheapest prostitute of the highest order. Either way, to be any justice in this world, people like you should be hung on the stake and burned alive. Uh oh, check this out. Better still, be struck down by the Almighty's anger. Oh, yes, Florence. Don't crack me up, okay? Stop being fanciful. Nothing of that nature is ever going to happen, okay? By the way, do I sense jealousy? Jealousy? Did I hear you say jealousy? Yes. Jealousy. Don't forbid that I am jealous of you. Don't forbid. I hate you. I hate you, you sodomite. You know what? That feeling is very, very much. Because I hate you too. <gasps> I detest your intuition into my dad and I private life. Okay? So now that you know that you're no longer me, why don't you just butt out? Just get out! You impudent whore. Your mother will be tumbling in her grave right now for what you have turned out to be. A twisted father fucking whore. Leave my mom out of this. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> I said leave my mom out of this. Did I hear you? Call her mom. After fucking her husband. on this presentation for the upcoming election. It's around the corner. And I'm just tightening up some loose ends to make sure we get it on the day day. Well, I already know who's gonna be the next governor of my state. Well, who might that be, my dear? Well, 
toes. I start like to wear my chin. My <laughs> well, thank you for that bit. But enough of work now. Well, sweetheart, I I can see you've been seeing quite a, a bit of that your boyfriend. His name is Ken? Yes, Ken. Ken. I wonder if I can see you've been seeing quite a lot of him. Like the old man was confess. I am becoming quite jealous. Know how you feel about me? Oh, don't you think of uh, he'll be hurt mm. when you dump him? You see, King is a playboy, uh, and he understands a little about it. So, um. Okay, this is your new talk. Does it mean then that uh, my beautiful daughter needs my uh, old man cheering this and new toy? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> you know that it, I mean, it's up to me. Must have you know that my father was an honorable and excellent student, soon to be the next governor of the state. So, um, you can address him as His Excellency Tomba Davis. Well, I'm quickening my boots. Oh, come on. You know, contrary to losing your life on him, my father is dead. As a matter of fact, he has a proposal to make to me. A proposal, you yes, say? Okay, I'll think of Well, 
Than you can know. <laughs> For example, my daughter said, um, You're quite a charmer. And I see you, you're quite charming. Is it charming? Oh, yeah, he is. He's quite a charming young man. What do you do for a living? Uh, let's say I'm um, between jobs at the moment. Oh, you know, okay. You know how it is, sir. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, but you know, why don't you come over for a weekend? Uh, because I have decided to host my family. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So after the party, you can discuss the job. How about that? That would be my pleasure. Sir. A deal? Yes, sir. Good, good. Oh. Good, good. Good Good <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think that's our cue for dinner. Excuse me, sir. Nice food. Uh-huh. Very good. Yeah. Grab your bag and take it to your room while the cook prepares something for you to eat and you freshen up. Oh, I love this Vietnamese treatment. <laughs> I love it. So, how's your father? Oh, that's great. He's actually out at the moment, going for a meeting for his community. Well, he'll get to you. I'll pause him up, okay? So, this party is going to be the most Oh, well, so he just looks sexy. There will be ex governors, ministers, president, the president of Zimbabwe is going to be there, and the president of Australia is around. I mean, that's going to have a blast. Believe me, just be sexy, that's the word. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll be sexy. I'll be sexy. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll try my best. Alright. Welcome to the weekend.
about this pine leaf process. I, I, I thought so too. I thought so. Yeah. So, I don't want to disturb you. You want to join me at the party? But I'd like to have a word with you. How do you like my daughter? Oh, your daughter, she's a very, very beautiful, well behaved daughter. And I should say, you've done a very good job training her, sir, raising her. <laughs> that is a bloody life, I've ever known. Okay. See, I know you. I know who you are. And I know what you do for a living. Okay? Oh. Well, if you know that about me, then why did you invite me to your party? And why do you allow me to date your daughter? Let's just say I like you. Okay? I like you. You see, ever since my daughter mentioned you, I find myself getting attracted to you. That is what I want to propose to you. What propositions are? What, what's the proposal? I'm a man who loves to experiment when it comes to pleasure. And my daughter and I will share common grounds when it comes to that. Okay? See, I want you, Ken. I want you as my lover. No, well, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. So, well, okay, okay. I, let's listen. Let me tell you this. I'm here today. I got, um, a one million a check prepared for you. You make me happy. Now there is plenty, plenty more to come. Where that came from? Just make that happy. I'll think about it, sir. That's what I thought. Well, just think about it. Think about it. Come on, let's go enjoy the party. Come on. Behave yourself, Florence. Can't you see I'm not in the mood? Come on, baby. You know he's been coming last time. Well, I said I think we can count on okay? you. You know that's the last thing you missed him. I know. You just relax. I'll put you in the mood. Get hold of yourself, Florence. Well, stop behaving like a rabbit dog. I've. Florence, a rabbit dog? All because I want to make love to my husband? Oh, I can see my, my touch repulses you. To the hell it is. You answer me. Does my touch repulse you? Huh? Of course it does. When we both know who you prefer to fuck and sleep with. Yeah. What are you talking about? When we both know who you prefer to fuck and sleep with. Tell me, Duma. Were you ever attracted to me sexually? Or are you to just for the political connection? Uh, listen, Doris. There is more to marriage than sex, okay? Sex has just a little to do with it. Is that so? So why did you tell me why you're so taken away by that boy? Because okay, your daughter's boyfriend. Why you have robbed him into your perverted world? Hmm? Because you're like what more that's what you prefer to sleep with sex. Oh, you know quite well what I'm talking about, my dear husband. Your evil bisexual nature is no more a secret to me. You know what? Now I know quite well why you approved of Cain. Because you have finally brought him over as your lover. What a shame. So you have been spying on me, you slut? Slut? You call me a slut? Oh no, I am not a slut. You are the slut. Look at you. <laughs> I thought I was in love with you. I thought I could save you. You are beyond saving. So you keep on writing like this, I'm really writing like this, I'm gonna have you committed to a psychiatric home and have your head examined. A psychiatric home? Me examine? Look, you and your cabal should go to the psychiatric home so that you get examined. How dare you?
Set of gold jewelry. Right. Let's have a look. I don't need your guilty conscience guilt, okay? You can have it. But it costs me so much. You think everything is about money? said you wanted to see me. Oh. 
Let me show you. Then you come to the right guy. You like? I like. You like? I like. Mm -hmm. Let me show you.